Hi there. Today to make the most of our math block, we're going to look at a math activity called counting jar. Counting jar is an activity I love to use at the beginning of the school year because it's perfect for introducing those math routines. We start during whole group, take it to small group, and then you can put it right out into math centers because they know the rules and expectations of the activity. Today we're going to highlight using counting jar for our math whole group time. Our read aloud will be mouse count. We have three jars with different amounts. The first amount is two with our green cubes. Next one is five with our yellow cubes. And the last one is eight with our red cubes. And these jars are from the Dollar Tree. Then we'll need different counters. We have buttons, tiles, foam ones, and these are magnetic circle counters that go on the tens frames. Then we have our magnetic counters that will go on our counting jar that will be drawn on the dry erase board. So let me go ahead and get this set up and we will get started with counting jar for our whole group time. Once you're gathered for a whole group, go ahead and read your math essential question. How can we build matching sets? Today we're gonna to read the book, Mouse Count. Let's think and listen about how they're building their sets and see if we can match them. You'll go through, read the book. It's about these mice that are going through a meadow and they take a nap. When they take a nap, a snake comes along and puts them into the jars. So go through on each page, count how many and the matching number. One, two, it matches. Once you get to a page, you wanna stop and build a connection. So one, two, three, there are three mice in this jar. Hmm, how could we build a matching set to match this? We have our counting jar. Who could come up to build the matching set? And you can call on someone to come up. One, two, three. Do they match? And you can go over counting one, one, two, two, three, three. Or just one, two, three, one, two, three. I stopped at three both times so they match. Today, when we are building our counting jar, we have our own counters that we will match. Let's go ahead and count them together. Let's we'll open it up, hold them up one by one and start that counting. One, two, three, four, five. How many did we have in our jar? No, shout out, five. Who could come up to build that matching set? And they can clear the board or just count on. Most of them will probably at the beginning just clear that board and go ahead and count. One, two, three, four, five. And go over that same thing. Do they match? One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. I stopped at five both times. Those sets represent five. And you can build in that language of double checking. Let's go back and be accurate. Let's double check. One, two, three, four, five. We have tile showing five, cube showing five. Let's build another matching set. And this is gonna go into how you'll do it during your small groups or your center time. Who can come up to use these counters to build another matching set? And you'll call on someone, they'll come up and go ahead and show you that same matching set. One, two, three, four, five. Let's go back, let's double check. I'll slide these up so you can see them a little easier. One, two, three, four, five. We have five tiles, five cubes, five of our circles. And you can go on, have another student come up and use different counters to build that matching set again. And then you can put it out for your, um, your math centers or your math workshops, however you set those up in the classroom, so they have that repeated practice of building those matching sets. Each of the counting jars, I use a different color just so they don't mix up how many need to go into the different jars so they're building those sets. There are extension activities that I have that I'll go over next, and I just keep them right in this baggie. Our two extension activities will start with the number jars. They have a numeral at the top and they will build a matching set below it. If they need some help, they can use the number line to count and match. One, two, that matches, so two. And go ahead and build that set. One, two. Once they're finished, they'll clear their board and pick out the next card that they need to build a matching arrangement. 
The other extension for counting jar is this math around the room activity. You'll hang these cards around. They'll use this recording sheet to walk around to record the matching number. So the first one, A, and go ahead and count how many. One, two, three. Beside A on their recording sheet, they'll write the number three and then go on and find the next letter so they can count and match those numbers. So we have math around the room and then number counting jar for our extension activities. After you've done counting jar for a whole group, you can think about taking it right into your small group. You have your counting jar right here. Each student will have a different counter in front of them and they wanna build the matching arrangement. This is a great time to observe how they're counting, if they know their number names, that one-to-one -one correspondence. And since you've done it during whole group, small group, this is perfect to put out the next day for your math center time because they know the rules and expectations of counting jar. Hopefully this will be a great activity for you to use at your back to school time. I will put the links to the materials I've used today below. Make sure you like this video if it's something you might be using or you found it helpful and stay tuned for more videos about making the most of our math block.